Welcome to the home of the fastest, most powerful supercomputer in the Southern Hemisphere. It'll be the fastest, uh, most powerful research supercomputer in the Southern Hemisphere when fully commissioned next year and generate masses of data um, and uh, a really exciting um, step change for Australian research and, uh, and science. This is the Pawsey Supercomputing Research Centre in Western Australia. Inside, these machines are helping researchers find the solutions to some of the world's most complex problems. Most of the big scientific challenges around climate and health and our environment and advances in energy need really significant computational powers to unlock the science and visualise or model what the solutions might be. The arrival of the new Cetonix supercomputer is a game changer. So our current system, Magnus, which will decommission um, on the arrival of Cetonix, what it can do in one second would take a, a human calculator over 31 million years to, to do, which is impressive. Our new system, Cetonix, is going to be 50 times faster than Magnus. Supercomputing is solving some of the biggest mysteries of the universe and with a click of the button is turning some very complex data into easy to understand information so that researchers can see the world like they've never seen it before. Supercomputers are doing everything from finding vaccines for COVID-19 and discovering new galaxies to helping combat climate change and allowing industries to predict problems before they arise. We use the supercomputers here to model the design and structures of some of our offshore structures, so pipelines and oil and gas production rigs, for how they might survive cyclones. And the medical profession, latest modelling of premature babies in ICU, is helping predict if and when a baby will go into distress. To say, we think that something's going to happen to that neonatal um, infant in the next hour, so get in early and do a, and, you know, take a temperature, do a, mod a modification to the routine. Cetonix is also taking the analysis of space data to a whole new level. Small to medium enterprise is being invited to leverage the power of supercomputing. We live in this golden age, if you like, where we've got compute at scale, we've got the internet and we've got the space-based data and the evolution of machine learning and analytics to be able to do some really fantastically cool things. For enterprise, the access through ASDAF support, the Australian Space Data Analysis Facility, really does mean the sky is no longer the limit. For ASDAF, we can partner with small to medium enterprises to allow them to leverage the uh, compute power of Pawsey to help them do their supercomputing um, on space-based data to, again, you know, produce results that are commercially interesting. So it's really an amazing opportunity for SMEs to get involved with supercomputing at scale in Australia. An exciting time for researchers and younger generations who face important challenges. They know the importance of um, us doing something about climate change or doing something about getting the plastics out of the oceans. And they care. It's a tool that has the power to change the world. I believe that these supercomputers have the ability to save lives, save the planet, um, hopefully, I don't know, maybe save us from each other. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if we could model you know, worldwide peace, would that that'd be great.